Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Battle Pack, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, The Wyatt Family. A very cool set, one of those things I was excited to get at the time. Unfortunately, at the, the time of reviewing this, uh, The Wyatt Family has been split up, uh, and both of these guys are basically doing nothing, uh, to be honest. So a little bit of a shame, but still a really cool set. One of those things that uh, if you're a collector or you're a, um, a fan of The Wyatt Family, uh, it's a really cool thing to have in your collection. So we'll get this opened up and hopefully give you a cool review. It does come with a sheet mask, which is pretty cool. This, of course, being the second time the White family was released. The first time uh, it came with a rocking chair accessory, which was pretty cool as well. Nice shot on the top left of Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Taking a look at the back of the packaging and a great shot there. If I had to pick a favorite, absolutely Luke Harper. Um, absolute gun wrestler. Uh, I saw both these guys wrestle uh, in Melbourne August last year uh, against the Usos for the Tag Championships. Awesome match. These guys work so well as a team. Uh, I love that he's got a few moves from favorite wrestlers such as the Batista Bomb, uh, and he executes them really well. Eric Rowan, really good addition to the White family. When he went on his own, he kind of did like the gentle giant kind of uh, gimmick, which... Wasn't too successful. He hasn't been on TV much lately. Uh, other figures that uh, come in the wave. John Cena, Ultimate Warrior. Really cool set. And then Sin Cara and Alberto Del Rio. Two wrestlers who also haven't been um, on TV. And very appropriately, I guess, in the uh, in the trash can. So let's get this set opened up. Okay, and we're here with Luke Harper and Eric Rowan out of the packaging. And it is a really nice set. To Mattel's credit, they've made some really cool figures here. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the Luke Harper. Absolutely nailed this guy. Uh, one of the things, of course, he's always got that um, uh, dirty singlet that he wears. I love that they've included some chest hair on him as well. Great face uh, sculpt detail. You can see on mine there's a few uh, issues and blemishes just with the plastic and uh, a few paint things there. But because it's a white figure, he does get away with it. Uh, really nice detail that comes across there. So pretty cool. He does have basically the standard Mattel uh, basic articulation. So ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, uh, joint in the wrist, swivel waist, and then the legs move forward and back, bend at the knee, and then nothing in the foot, or if there is, it's really limited by the the jeans uh, or the pants that he's got on. So uh, overall, he's a pretty solid figure. And here we've got Eric Rowan, another really cool, visually uh, impressive figure. He's quite tall, uh, both white figures are. He does have slightly different articulation. The arms are the same, but he's got the, uh, the waist swivel over here. And then uh, just visually, I guess, it looks, looks very different. He's certainly a lot, a uh, much wider figure uh, than the... Luke Harper, but uh, he does come with a removable sheep's mask, which is pretty cool. So nice detail there on the face and uh, on the mask. It basically just slots in over the top. Now, one of the gripes I have with this guy is that this head is basically like a bobble head. It's really loose on the joint, uh, and I'm worried that it's actually going to come off pretty soon. So you just have to be a little bit careful with it. But uh, overall, really cool figures. Shame they're both... Um, not doing much anymore. They should just put them back together uh, and have the White family uh, tag team. Uh, really, really cool set. If you're a fan of these guys, you're a fan of um, uh, Bray Wyatt as well, and uh, you want a good set, this is absolutely the one to pick up. 